Good morning and welcome to a rainy day here in Mesquite Independent School District. I'm going to take you on a little tour today of some of our libraries and we're going to start off at Horn High School. Before we go in, I'd like to tell you about the safety protocols that we have in place here in the district. Our libraries are operating under one of four different levels of service and uh, level one is where the library is closed and school is closed so there's only online learning taking place. Level two service is where the school is open but the library is still closed for students and classes. Uh, we offer concierge checkout service at this level where students put books on hold and we take the materials to the at level three the school is open the library is open for limited browsing and classes that are socially distanced while wearing masks. And finally, level four is where library service is back to normal. School is open. The library is open for unlimited browsing, unlimited numbers of students, and uh, that's where we all aspire to be right now. So Horn High School that you're about to see is operating at level two. You won't see any students inside, but the librarians are teaching classes by Google Meet and offering concierge service for checkout. See you inside. Welcome to the library at Horn High School. Normally, before school, this place would be packed full of kids. You notice we've got a little coffee bar here. Horn High School is very proud that they were Battle of the Books winners a couple of years. And here is the circulation desk. Normally we don't have that uh, uh, plexiglass screen up there. And normally we, you would see students here working at the desk. We're gonna sneak in. The librarian is teaching a class on Google Meet. So we're gonna sneak in and say hello and see what she's up to. If you want a book, you can put it on hold and Miss Burris and I will come and bring it to you during one of your classes. We like to say we're book fairies, so um, we really enjoy delivering books to you guys. So if you want a book, don't hesitate. And also don't forget we have Sora, which is the online eBooks. Uh, if you don't know how to get to any of that stuff, then feel free to shoot me a quick email and I can send you just a quick little video that'll show you exactly how to do it. And Notice there are not a lot of DVDs or AV back here in this AV area. We do have a streaming uh, Learn360 that teachers use for any video content that they need. Stop number two on our tour today is Gentry Elementary School and Gentry is operating at level three. So we will get to see a class in for orientation and check.
stop is Fraser Middle School, where the librarian, Amy Milstead, is going to give us a tour. Fraser Middle School Library. This is a circulation desk. We're set up for self-checkout. And right now, we're set up for touchless. They just scan their, their ID card and their name pops up. But we are on level two right now. So we're using the library as kind of a concierge service where they reserve books online and we take it to them. This is the makerspace. And I've got some National History Day projects that were winners last year. They went all the way to state to show off. Um, this closet is board games and puzzles. This is everything you need to make anything. I have a library student worker right now reading. Everything that touches the walls is nonfiction. And then the floating shelves in the middle, those are our fiction section and biography. And my library is done by genre. All of our MISD secondary schools are done by genre. So the color tab means different, different genres and they're labeled to tell you what. This room looks a little bit different right now because of COVID also, but this is um, a meeting space and it's also where we have a green screen. And then this television can be hooked up to show five screens, five computer screens at once. Over here, where you can plug in to an HDMI port and collaborate. What it looks like from this angle. Um, this is nice because I have two basic, basically two different learning sections. This is, I can have, I've had up to three or four classes in here at once, but you can have one class doing work over here using that screen and one over here using this screen. I also have a projector where you can show something for the whole room. Soft seating, which the kids arrange. And that is the Fraser Library. Henry Elementary is our newest elementary school. It's number 33 and uh, has a lot of great things happening in the library. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Tracy Hayes and I'm the librarian here at Henry Elementary and I'm gonna take you on a brief tour of our library and give you an idea of what would normally go on if we were not during the pandemic, okay? So normally the kids would come in and they do self check in. They would do check in their own books here at our check in station. They would put their books on the cart according to the genre. And then they would go and search for their new books that they would want. And during that time, they would, we have other classes going on. We would have um, maker spaces going on. I have technology. We have, um, iPads, laptops, I have access to those things. So all the kids are going on. We have several different things. Research projects going on, like with four groups, I mean, with four people. We have uh, kids building things, challenging them, STEM act activities that are related to either something that's in the curriculum or a literature that we've read, a book. It relates to a book that we've done, uh, which I love doing that, okay? Uh, here is where all our books are, all right? This is my area. Okay, sometimes when students come in and I'm busy or I have a class or I'm working with another student, they can come over here to our iPad stations, which is our catalogs, and they can select, find their book on their own. They can, we have three of them here, different heights, so every child can manage it on their own. They search for a book, it tells them exactly where to go, and they pull their own book and then they go back to the checkout station and they would come over here to check out their books at the checkout station. I don't really need to help them, maybe with the littles, but uh, most of our students will know that they, uh, they have their ID number, they can put that in there themselves or they can scan their library card, they check their books out, reset it, and then they walk out and go home and read their books. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed a brief uh, tour of the Henry Elementary Library. Thank you for letting me share.
We're outside the Berry Support Complex, which is where you will find library processing. This is where all of the materials for our libraries are processed. So let's go inside and take a look. Hi, my name is Ivy Willis. I am one of the uh, processors here at Library Services. enjoyed this tour of some of our Mesquite ISD school libraries and library services.